Hello, I'm Matt with Adventure Canopies and today I'm going to go over the installation uh, steps for our hubs. Um, I've already unpacked our, our bag, uh, a canopy set up over here. Uh, in the bag you get four hubs, four gaskets, a set of screws, and an installate and a height adjustment kit. I'm going to set this aside for now. I also have a drill, tape measure, screwdriver, a sharpie, a pair of scissors, and a small drill bit. In the instructions, uh, we discuss rear hub installation, forward hub installation, and the two key factors here is your rear hubs need to go 21 to 32 inches behind the, the seat. And then once those are installed, you measure eight feet forward. I'm gonna go over this process uh, over here at the kayak. This kayak has already had hubs pre-installed. I removed them for the video. Um, I'm first going to measure 21 inches back from the seat and for the purpose of the video I'm going to mark it with my sharpie it's uh, it's right about here and then 32 inches is right about here okay as you can see my hubs were previously installed right in the center of those two marks and let me tell you why I did that so the forward hubs need to go eight feet in front of the rear hub. So this is the closest point to the seat. And if I measure eight feet forward, my front hubs will be right at the hatch. So I'm going to need to go back a couple inches and my eight foot mark is right here um, towards the center of where my hubs were previously installed. So you can either mark that spot or you can find a spot on the kayak um, adjacent to that area. So here as you see on this side there's a small post and we're, we're going to be just forward of that post. Let me put this away. So the hubs with the locking mechanism goes up front. I'll set them in place, but I won't screw those in right now. And I'll set my rear hubs in place. And I'll grab two screws as well. So, like I said, these hubs were previously installed. I did use a small drill bit to make a pilot hole. So uh, it just makes it a little easier to um, put the screw through the plastic. Um, of course, I'm going to use the same hole I previously drilled. And... If you use a drill, um, take the clutch down as, as light as possible. And we're not going to tighten them up yet. Thank you. Okay. Now I'll go to my forward hubs, and I know that I want them just forward of the hatch because that was right about my eight foot mark. Let me grab two screws. And I'm just going to put one screw in each hub.
when you're putting on your forward hubs this lock make sure the shock cord is through the weep hole and there we go I'm gonna set this in place and again it doesn't have to be tight at all I'm going to grab my canopy. That's what I do is I, when I'm on the water, I set this in place. I take the two ball connectors, put it through the loop on the locking mechanism, through the loop, and I push it into the hub. I always Lift this from the back, push forward, and rotate down. And then I'll put the hubs in place. Now we'll put our second screw into each hub. Now when you do this, The best way to do it is to rotate the hub slightly so that so that the the ball connector is seated firmly as you adjust you see how it how it moves Set that in place and tighten that up then I'll do the same thing on the other side here I'll move to the forward hubs. And it doesn't take a lot of pressure to tighten those up. That's what I like to do is just go back with a regular screwdriver. And kind of hand tighten it. Once you see the uh, gasket compress just slightly, uh, that that that's tight enough. And that's our installation. When to go over the locks real quick, once your canopy is up and in place, pull the shock cord, push the locking mechanism in place, and do the same thing on the other side. That's it. Thank you for your time. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Matt with Adventure Canopies, and today I'm going to go over making height adjustments to your canopy after it's been installed. So Hold on. I'm good.